Hello and welcome, my name is Thomas and in this video I'm going to show you how you can start building an email list absolutely free. Okay, so something I talk about pretty regularly, not only with my clients, but just with different folks that I've talked to throughout the years who are interested in starting to build a business or a brand on the web, and that is an email list. I've heard so many people who have said, you know what, I'm ready to start a new business or I'm ready to start a new brand. So, you know, uh, what name should I use for my profile, you know, or what uh, web address should I buy or, you know, what name should I use for my business as a whole or, you know, should I focus more on Instagram or should I focus more on Twitter or Facebook or all these different elements. But one of the things that I see people overlooking so often, and it's totally understandable because there can be so many different distractions, but what most people overlook is the importance of creating an email list. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail today about why an email list is important. I'll just give you some of the bullet points just because in previous episodes here on Rightly TV, as well as on the Rightly Show, I've talked a lot about why it is really important to have an email list. But the main thing that I wanted to share with you today, some of the bullet pointed items as to kind of why you really want to focus on an email list is these things. First of all, as opposed to something like social media, social media is one of those things that's not always on. Now, a lot of people might be on social media, but the difference is that people check social media every now and then. And if they don't so happen to see your post on Twitter or on LinkedIn or Facebook or Instagram or whatever it is, they're never going to see it. Whereas with email, it's an inbox. So no matter what, they're going to see your message. So for that reason, it's gonna have much higher engagement rates. Uh, that might mean that somebody just deletes your message, but they have to see it unless they're one of those people who just doesn't check their email inbox and it's got like 10,000 messages. But assuming that's not the case, most of us who have our email inboxes as something that we check pretty regularly and keep fairly clean, it's an important part of our day. We receive messages from customers and clients and from family members and everything in between. But what we but what we receive in addition to that is just things that we want to hear. Now, I'm not talking about spam. The goal here with this email list that we're going to be generating isn't a list of people that we're spamming. Instead, it's going to be a list of people who want to hear from us. But in order for people to actually get onto that list, of growing subscribers who want to hear from us, first we have to offer them something of value. What we don't want to do and what so many people do is they spend weeks or even months getting a website set up and then they add something to the sidebar that says subscribe to my newsletter. Nobody just wants to subscribe to a newsletter. Instead what people want is they want to hear your latest recipes or your latest stock market advice or your latest health tips or your latest tax advice, right? They want to hear from you specifically. So that is why somebody gets onto an email list. Okay, so but beyond this, uh, the other element that we want to keep in mind in regards to why an email list is valuable is that in addition to providing people useful tips and resources on a weekly or even a monthly basis, an email list is something that you own and something that you control. So if you have an engaged audience of even 500 or 1,000 people on that email list who are looking forward to hear from you on a weekly basis, you have a list of dedicated subscribers to whom you can actually generate sales from. Now, I'm not saying, again, going into sales pitch or spam mode or like buy my widget or something like that. But what you can do is if you have services that you regularly offer and you're looking for a couple of extra clients, that's your opportunity to be able to email that list of dedicated subscribers and say, hey, would you like to work with me personally? Uh, I can offer you all these resources and tools for free, but working with me, I do have to charge for that. And so at that point in time, you can email your list and you can instantly get three or four clients uh, to sign up with you as opposed to just kind of having to wonder whether or not you're ever going to get the next 
sale or where that next sale or client is going to come from. Okay, so all those things aside, one of the things that we're gonna do in this video is we're going to create a very simple squeeze page and uh, we're gonna be using a tool called ConvertKit that enables you to do that totally for free. So like I mentioned previously, there's people that I've worked with or talked to who in the past had gone through the trouble of making this big complex website. They go through you know, a number of these other services or page builders out there that let you create a website and it's just not generating any results for them. People hit the website and then they leave. The great thing about using a squeeze page as your website, particularly when you're getting started, is that people have two options. One, they sign up for your email newsletter or for they subscribe in whatever method or for whatever it is that you're going to offer uh, a value to them, or they leave, which is great because it means that you're going to have a much higher level of retain of people who you are retaining as potential customers as a result of that. So before we actually get into the tutorial itself on how to set up this squeeze page and how to start growing your email list, the first thing that we have to tackle is what is it that you are going to provide to the person in exchange for the email list, uh, for their email address, I should say. Again, what we do not want to do is just say, sign up for my, uh, for my newsletter, right? You have to be very specific. You wanna create something that's going to be of value to, this, to the type of audience that you're trying to build. So let's go ahead and run through some examples of what you could do to start with. And don't think that this has to be something super complicated. I've told people in the past, you can create a video, you can create a podcast episode, but just to start with, what I would recommend is if you don't feel comfortable doing any of those things, just start in Microsoft Word. Pick a nice, clean, clear, readable font. No, you don't even need a logo. You don't need anything else. This is the absolute ground zero of where you can start and just type up a checklist or type up your most useful resources and tips that you could possibly provide uh, packed into one very clean, simple, and easy to read PDF. Okay, so that was quite a bit of detail. We're going to go ahead now and we're gonna go through the tutorial process of actually setting up uh, a landing page and doing it for free. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is just we're going to go to rightly dot tips, or actually, I'm sorry, rightly.tv slash convert kit. And this is gonna take you right on over to uh, the page where you can actually see more information. We just wanna click on cl uh, create free account. Okay, and then once you have created your account, you're gonna see something that looks pretty similar to this. It's going to have uh, all of the subscribers that you, um, or what would be all of your subscribers once you start signing up and that sort, once you start signing up some subscribers. What we're gonna do is we're gonna look for pages, uh, landing pages and forms. Okay, and once we're onto the landing pages and forms screen, what we're gonna be able to do is go ahead and click create new. And the great thing about ConvertKit is that it's going to enable us to create just based off one of these really simple templates, a nice, clean and readable landing page. Now, one of the things that I wanted to recommend in regards to setting up this landing page is in particular with the imagery is that you want to go one of two routes. One, if you're going to be building a personal brand or you're going to be working one on one with your clients and your customers, what you probably want to do is include a photo of you, right? Just a nice professional photo of you is probably going to be going to be the best route. If however, on the other hand, you're going to be working with a team or you're building more of like a corporate brand, at that point, you're gonna to wanna to show some imagery that is going to be specific to the audience you're trying to build, right? So if you are a consultant, a consulting team who works with other teams or businesses on how to grow revenue or something like that, you probably wanna show like a corporate picture, a picture of people at a board meeting or something like that. So again, being very cognizant of the type of imagery that you wanna use is gonna be really important as we'll see here in a moment. Okay, so let's pop in here. Uh, as you can see, they got a lot of templates to choose from, which is great. It just makes it uh, that much better. If you are going to be providing some sort of uh, video that you would provide as a download, that would be a great uh, option right there. Uh, if you wanted something a little bit more simple, that's an option if you're offering uh, an app or something that people are going to see on their phone, that's a good option. So we just wanna keep this pretty simple. I do like this particular one, again, if it's going to be 
uh, kind of more of a personal brand. So let's go ahead and just choose that one, make it really simple just so that we can keep it clean. And again, it's got that spot where we can upload a nice image. Okay, so again, headlines are really important. Let's stay on the topic of email subscribers. So let's say, uh, get your first 1,000 email subscribers. So we're teaching people on how to grow their email list. Get my free guide. So again, very clear, very readable. Uh, and then we've got the different styles. So let's jump up here and we can actually go through and select a whole bunch of different uh, typefaces if we wanted to. So that's really nice. So we'll just go ahead and grab Railway. That's a pretty nice, clean uh, typeface to use. Same thing, I'll go ahead and use Railway and there we go. Okay, then for the color, we'll go ahead and leave that the same, but let's say get the free PDF. There we go, perfect. Okay, and then the next thing we wanna do is select the image that we're gonna use. Just drag that right on over. Okay, so there we go. I've went ahead and uploaded a little bit of a better image. Okay, and then what we wanna do is we wanna find a photo and we can use something called Pexels, which is a uh, website I referred to in the past. We wanna find something that's uh, gonna kind of fit our headline. So I'm just gonna say email. And I'm probably just gonna find pictures of people who are just kind of on their phone or on their laptops, that sort of thing. Uh, so let's see what we probably wanna do. Do something like this, that works just fine. So we'll go uh, large size, click free download. There we go. And then we wanna go down and replace the image, which looks like I've already got it uploaded there. There we go. And we'll see that it has been faded into the background. As you can see, it was just kind of a couple of steps if I wanted to, I could maybe change this color. What I like to say for that call to action color is that you wanna make sure that it's nice and uh, contrasted from whatever the actual uh, color of the background is. So a nice contrasty color is gonna be really important. So maybe we'll do something like that since blue, uh, kind of that teal color is gonna be uh, kind of on the opposite spectrum of an orange or yellowish type color. So there we go. And then once somebody fills out the form, here's the message that they're going to get. And then this is the really important part. Right here, we wanna make sure that we send an incentive email that after somebody confirms their email address with us, we provide a download. So this is where you're gonna be able to upload that PDF we talked about so that via email, they're gonna confirm their email address and they're going to uh, download the file that you promised them at the same time. Okay, so that's really important. We wanna make sure we do that. Then within here, we can actually uh, edit the email contents. So let's say important uh, get your free download, let's say confirm and download. There we go, we'll close that, we'll click save. And there we go, we just created our landing page. We can just click to copy and there we go. Beautiful, clean uh, landing page that connects the ConvertKit uh, that we don't need a website for. Now, one of the things that you might be wondering is, okay, so what about that super long URL? So let's take a look at this real quick. So if I were to move this down so you could see it, you'll see it's this long kind of weird domain and then it's got you know this before it. Now the good news is that uh, you'll be able to customize this portion right here. So that's great. You'll also be able to customize this portion here. However, what I'm gonna recommend is that what you do, particularly if this is how you're gonna be getting started, is that you go and you buy a domain and then forward it to this address. That's really easy to do. You can go through a service called Hover, which I've recommended in videos in the past. So just go to rightly.tv slash Hover, where you can set that up and it's super simple. Okay, so that's it. That's all you need to get started. And the great thing about doing something like this is that if you buy a really memorable and uh, very audible, friendly type URL uh, that you can just tell people, it's a great way to start building that prospect and client list, particularly if you don't have a website yet. So what you can do is if you've got a domain, like I've got a number of really easy to say and remember domains like Rightly TV, I could easily just say to people on the street for chit chatting, like to somebody who needed my resource and my guide, I could say, hey, go check out rightly.tv and you can sign up for my free guide. Something like that is going to be much more powerful for generating new customers and clients and prospects than 
any type of website builder out there. And the great thing is that now ConvertKit is gonna help you do that for free. So as a side note, I am an affiliate with ConvertKit. So if you end up paying for their paid account, I will receive a small commission, but it is something like always that I am currently personally using and I always recommend. So as always, if you found this video useful, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.